really pretty neighborhood. I mean, how great is that? So today we're in Zachary, Louisiana, taking Billie Jean to her home check. Billie Jean survived a month after Hurricane Katrina and was found in the backyard of an abandoned house. She endured a lot, and she deserves a great home so much. Say hello. Oh, hi. Hi, dear. Hi. How are you? Hi. You cannot even begin to imagine how excited we are. Billie Jean, we saw her, and it was like, that's the piece that's missing out of our family. But I want to leave Billie Jean in the car and, and just come uh, check out the facilities. In, come check everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we actually bring Billie Jean out, I want to do the yard check and just check out the surroundings to see where these two dogs will spend a lot of their time. Oh, I like the fence. We never do anything halfway to, uh, you know. <laughs> the yard was absolutely breathtaking, everything. The fence, the size, it just was beautiful. Come see, sweet boy. This is a great yard, though. Thank you. It's OK, sweet boy. You want to come see mama? You know, whatever Denver went through during Katrina obviously has traumatized him still to this day. Now, he's got the gentlest soul you ever want to meet in your life, right. but he's so timid, you're never really sure how he's going to react in right. a given situation. Right. From everything that Jamie and Jesse are telling me, he could really benefit from having a companion. So hopefully with a little bit more time, he can actually get comfortable around Billie Jean. We'll bring him out front, out of your yard. We'll get Billie Jean out, kind of reintroduce him again. That's fine. Before bringing them both into the yard, we want to walk our dog with their dog out in neutral territory and get them reacquainted. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. Look how pretty she is, baby. Look. Billie Jean has been through enough in her life. Any dog that managed to survive Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, she's had enough. She needs some peace. It's the other dog, baby. Yeah. But I'm nervous that Denver's not going to behave. Want me to take a walk this way, then? Mm hmm Hey, little girl. Come on. That's a good boy. Come here, little girl. I like the fact that she's not being so pushy. <laughs> Just like the first meeting, Denver's reaction, to Billie Jean at least, is kind of indifferent. I don't know that we're going to get a true sense of his real reaction. Not here at all, so let's just go ahead and go in. Because he's so nervous, getting him into the backyard was the best chance we had for getting him comfortable. Hey, sweet girl. Right now, he's just glued to your side. He's using you as a security blanket, so again, we're not seeing what he's really like. Normally, I don't do this, but what happens when you let him loose off leash? So why don't we stop petting him? Just stop petting him and just let him be. Yeah, just let him be. Billie Jean was being actually very calm with Denver and just giving him a chance to get used to her, but still not getting anything from Denver yet. I mean, he might just be frozen with fear if he won't do anything. But... Come on. Let's see if he'll wander away. Good boy. Hey, good boy, a good buddy. Good boy. That's right. Go. Go. That's a good that's a Go. Good Come on. Look at you, big boy. He's not that nervous. Uh-uh. <laughs> He's happy. You know, to see a dog go over on his back and start rolling around and just loosening up, it just told me that he felt more relaxed. Say, come on, Billy Jean. I want to play. That's right. He's coming. Look at that. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Hey, there yes, she yay. is. There she is. Yay. I mean, it took a while, but I think the ice has finally been broken a little bit by both dogs. You know, it is a couple of older dogs. Both have gone through an unforgettable traumatic experience. They are set in their ways. It just may take them a little bit longer to get used to something new. Yeah. 